Oh, it's fairly late at night, and uh, that's what the temperature is. Isn't that lovely? But, uh, back here at the compressor again. So, I've done a few things now, and I'm much happier. So, you saw the last video, I installed the air dryer, basically, and, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it's got no air in it at all at the moment. So let's turn it on, and plug it in and see what happens. Follow this hose. It's all the way down here. To a connection there just before the wall. So I can unplug that and roll it back up to the garage. And that goes behind the heater. Tidied up out here too, it's good. To this. It's nice and quiet, isn't it, out here? Clearly feeling. If I choose to, I can plug this in and have this running as well. But generally, I won't need that. And then we've got another hose that will reach all the way to the front of the Jaguar there. So here's my air system now. Quite happy. It should produce enough air. Beforehand, with such a long hose, if I was using the big rattle gun, this hose just couldn't move enough volume of air over that distance. Now I've got basically a capacitor bank. So this will store the air and, you know, only got like a 10 meter hose on that. So, yeah, should be much better. Now I shouldn't run out of air as much. Very happy. It is slow to charge off one compressor, but, you know, just give it like two or three minutes and then you'll have enough air for everything. If I choose to, if I don't need this much air, I can just turn this tap here and it shuts off this tank. So the other tank charges much faster and I can, you know, do tire pressures or something. If I need to use the rattle gun heaps or something, or even spray painting or whatever. But this, and I can fully regulate it too. Here's the specs on this tank. Its design pressure is 0.9 MPa. Um, and what we got here? The testing pressure was 1.35 MPa. So that's more than enough pressure that I need. So I ramp it up to 120 now. Just for the other compressor. So that's 5 over what this shutoff point used to be. So you can hear the valve go clunk. And then it keeps charging and stops. But its blow off valve is rated for uh, 125, so still good. Very happy. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll see videos of me using it one day. Should be getting close to its shut off point, you should hear it. I've got to get a few more fittings from the shop, but yeah, that works for now. Tiny little leak from this one. No, I'm going to replace that tomorrow. Cool. Yeah, lots of pressure. Just the way it should be. And then the gauge is right around there. Yeah. <laughs> 